Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back with another coffee talk and today is going to be about how to be more social and how to be so comfortable in our skin that we're able to start conversations, meet new people, make new friendships, and have fun in general when we're out. Um, this is, I'm not talking about like how to be more social with people that you know. I'm talking about, about how to be more social with people that you don't know and environments that you are not used to or maybe with a bunch of people around you that you don't know and you feel uncomfortable, I want to help you feel comfortable and be yourself and feel confident enough to be social wherever you are and whoever you're with. So that's what this coffee talk is going to be about. So let's get right into it. Now, first things first, I just want to let you know that I am an extrovert. I am very good at being social. I am a very social person. And I went a good amount of years, like my high school years, not letting that out and not being my true self. But once I stepped into the real world, I was just myself and I, and I really realized and appreciated how I am. And I, it makes me feel so free and great and I love being social. So I am talking about based off experience and the situations that I've been in. So these are the things that help me stay social. And how and, and, and these are the things that help me get over that like awkwardness or that that bump where you're like, oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, eh, uh, uh. You get that? Okay, so that's what I'm gonna talk about. The number one thing that you really have to do in order to be more social is to don't judge by looks. Don't judge by appearance. You'll be so surprised on how looks and appearance don't mean a thing. And so about their personality, about anyone's personality. So it's, it's amazing how once you don't do that, you meet such great people that way by not judging off of their looks. So don't judge. And this is something very natural that we do. It's in our nature to sometimes be like, oh, I might not relate to that person because she's dressed that way or he's dressed that way or they have this on or they look like this or they're, you know, not talking or they're not or they're too loud, they look too loud. You know, you don't know. And, and by appearance, I mean either what they're wearing, what they have on, or just how they're in that moment from far away, you're looking how they're presenting themselves or how they're doing things and um, how they're speaking. But you don't know how, what, you don't know their personality until you really have a conversation with people. You don't know, you don't know their personalities. So don't, don't judge by their appearance don't judge a book by its cover because first of all you don't need that negativity and wherever in whatever environment you're in you don't want to spend it looking at people and judging them and then you don't want to you, you want to feel comfortable you don't want to feel so like judgy because why it'll prevent you from you know meeting such great people it'll prevent people from knowing you and how great you are so just don't judge you'll be so surprised on uh, about how like you really don't know anybody until you're having a conversation with them so i once i stopped doing that i it's it's normal and sometimes we do it once i stopped doing that i've met such great people and so it's i've just realized it's really wrong to judge by the looks it doesn't mean a thing it does not say anything about their personality so don't do that Number two, ask questions, start conversations, start, um, ask questions in order to start a mutual conversation and find common ground with people. So if you are like around a lot of people that you don't know, or maybe there are people that are like their mutual friends, for instance, um, last night is a great example. And I love that I'm doing this video after last night because last night was such a good example. Um, but my best friend and her fiance brought some friends invited some friends to a night out um and so it was like friends of friends and friends and friends so there was a lot of people that i didn't know um but when it's like mutual friends sometimes you have like prior knowledge um on those people so there's a lot of ways that you can start conversations number one you can use whatever information like you have about them um use that to start a conversation so for example my best friend and her fiance is friends with this couple who loves shuffling they love that music and they love to shuffle the dance and so when i was introduced to them i said hi how are you guys and then i was like so you guys are the shufflers and they were like yeah and then we started talking that way 
So just have conversation. And even if you are not, you don't really agree with anything or you don't have the same likes or you guys are very different, it doesn't matter. You can still talk to people without, you know, this, having the same having being similar you you can be very different with people and still have a conversation i think that's what's missing in this world today is that you can still be friends with people that are different you can still talk to people who are different um as long as you don't judge that you can do that and so we started a conversation that way and then that led to them asking questions asking me questions and then we learned about each other um and we were still able to have fun as long as you respect each other's differences and views, you can still have a conversation and end up liking each other or relating to each other and connecting because of the personalities, not really because of the likes or anything, but because you guys were able to relate to each other and respect to each other, that actually can bring a connection or make a friendship. Just the fact that you guys um, were nice enough or just very inviting to talk to each other. So... And you can also start it by maybe a compliment. You can also start the conversation with a compliment and uh, make sure that it's not weird and creepy. Don't creep anybody out. But if it's like a very appropriate, simple compliment, do that and that might start a conversation as well. So you can either compliment, ask a question, or use your prior knowledge and information that you have on those people or that person and use that to start a conversation and trust me once you do that you will feel so liber liberated and free and if you are confident enough and you're yourself there should be no there should be there should not be anything holding you back from talking to people and starting conversations i know that there's a lot of people who are used to people coming to them but in a sense that's not good because then you're constantly waiting for people to get to know you, why not just put yourself out there and you know invite people to get to know you? A lot of people are not going to come to you. Don't expect that. Don't don't just wait around to make friends. You know it takes two to or you know it takes more than one person to have a conversation or to make a connection. So don't wait for people to come to you. If you have that confidence, then just go for it. Don't wait around for people. That's not fun because that actually keeps you from having a lot of fun if you're just waiting around for, for people to come to you. So just start conversations. And those three ways, I think, are the best ways to start conversations. As long as you're respectful, you're not creepy, and you are just... just genuine about what you what you're coming to them with and that questions that you're asking and how you're starting a conversation as long as you're genuine people will you know feel and feed off that vibe and they will do the same to you they will ask you questions they will get to know you too because they'll respect that you came to them and to get to know them now i understand though that there are people that are just rude and are just like people that don't like people to approach them but if you feel if and I'm talking about situations where it's okay and you know that it would be appropriate and that you know you're safe to start conversations um do that that's okay as long as you know who you're about to approach and what kind of environment you're in why not talk to people and why not make conversation so the third thing is to be open-minded now you can't expect to just talk to people and relate to people that have the same, that like the same things that you do, do the same things that you do, or listen to the same music that you do. You can't expect to just talk to those people. You have to really understand that you can have a conversation with people that are different than you, and you can make connections, you can make friendships to people that are not completely the same as you, and that is okay. So you have to really learn how to be open-minded, embrace each other's differences, and use those differences to even make a connection. So like again, for example, um, last night, that couple loved shuffling. And I don't know how to shuffle, but I did not complain. I wasn't selfish. I didn't, I didn't like complain that I don't love the music and I don't know how to shuffle, so I'm not gonna do it, no. By having that conversation first with those people, I realized they were just such good people and they had great personalities that why not embrace each other's differences and why not participate in what they like. And so I was shuffling too and I actually ended up having amazing fun. I had so much fun, but because I wasn't thinking about all that, I was just 
social and I was open-minded and I had fun so they were teaching me how to shuffle I was looking stupid but that's okay I was having fun I was hyping them up I was hyping everybody up that came in if you didn't know what you were doing I was still hyping you up you know just being like that is so free and liberating and it was just and it was just so worth it so you know don't be selfish be open-minded and don't base your judge your judgment don't base your criticism or your judgment on people based on what their differences are and don't let that keep you from making new friendships and, and you know having fun and just meeting meeting new people now i'm not talking about like long friendships serious friendships i'm just talking about you know, meeting people that maybe just that night or that day or that event, it just feels great. And it helps you feel more comfortable in your own skin, in that environment, and you leave with no regrets at the end of the day. Fourth thing I would say is just the most important of all is be yourself. If you are not yourself, then all the things that I just said are not gonna work. You have to be yourself. Um, because once you are yourself, you're going to be more confident and then confidence leads you to being open-minded and then being open-minded leads you to being, to making that first move and to starting that conversation. And you know, that leads you to meet new people and just have fun. So it's just so good to be yourself. Once you're yourself, you can literally do anything because that means that you are secure of yourself you know who you are and you're not afraid to show it and you're not afraid to learn from other people so once you're yourself you actually appreciate others being themselves so if you are not yourself and you're trying to be somebody that you're not or you're just basically just not really showing who you are you're keeping it hidden from the world then you won't appreciate other people being themselves and you're gonna look at it as like Ugh, and you're gonna judge but really, they're doing nothing wrong. They're being your, being themselves like you should. And so once you like break down that wall, really you will have no problem having conversations and you won't have any problems being social. The more that you are yourself, the more you can relate. Again, I know that some people just like to not, they don't like to talk to people. They don't like meeting you people. They're okay with that and it, it doesn't affect them. And if you're happy that way, then that's okay. I'm telling you that's okay. But if you are a person who constantly feels like you're not enjoying yourself when you go out, but you really want to enjoy yourself, or maybe just in general, when you're around people, you feel uncomfortable and you feel and you know that it's affecting you and you want to stop that, you really want to change that, then do the things that I tell you because I promise you it will work. It will work, okay? If you feel, if you, if you, can, if you can just accept that that's why you're not having fun, and that's why you're not meeting any new people. That's why you're not happy with yourself. If you can just accept that, then maybe you can turn yourself a little bit around and change those things in order to be more social and find that happiness and find that comfort. Because it, there's nothing better than just being so comfortable in your own skin that you are able to meet new people, talk to different people, and be social. So it has being social has so, so, so many benefits that try to be you know just try and if it's not for you then that's okay because then that just means that you're not meant to be that way um then you then you're meant for new different things and so everybody has their different kinds of personalities but but if you know that you're not being yourself and you are just it's but it's just so hard for you to be yourself then do the things that i tell you you'll be able to break out of your shell and you'll just feel so free and liberated and it's a life worth living I don't think I have anything else to say. Let me know if these coffee talks are helping you guys and that they're and if they're good topics. I really want to know and I also want you guys to request any videos down in the comments. I want you to question ask me questions and comment anything to just to kind of like interact with you guys and I want to do more videos like this, inspirational videos and topics like this. I really enjoy them. I really just enjoy sitting here and talking about that um, and talking about all these things. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like these. And I will see you guys in my next video.